we don't know God. We know just that, what we have mm -hmm. in the Bible. About okay. God Father, God Son, and God Holy Spirit, okay. right? Okay, but why he said, for Kula Naduha Sato, why he, Holy Spirit put higher than Father and Son? Because they Where have different relations, right? Because on that time, Wait, I'm sorry, I'm son, sorry. The Holy now this is crazy. This is why we say if there's three Christians, you have four different belief sets. Christians have always said that, that there's a trinity and there's a co-equal existence. Now this Christian here is saying, no, the Holy Ghost is superior to God the Father, which is something I've never heard. Sometimes we'll hear the Father is greater. Sometimes Jesus, the Father, and the Holy Ghost are co-equal. Now the Holy Ghost apparently became greater than the Father. If Christians are that confused about the basis of their religion, what are they calling towards? Alhamdulillah for Islam, a religion of pure clarity, of a pure belief. Allah is the most powerful. He is the, the creator of everything, the only one worthy of worship. The Prophet Jesus, the Prophet Muhammad, the Prophet Abraham, the Prophet Moses, and everybody else worship that one great creator who is greater than all of them. The Holy they Spirit is higher than word. God, the Father? Holy Spirit, yes. Where did you get that from? That's not the Christian belief. Yes. They're co-equal yes. according to Christianity. Uh-oh, heresy right here. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. You better go talk to your other Christian brethren because from what I understand of the Christian belief, they're co-equal. None of them are higher. They have different roles. He used yeah. to be Christian before himself, so he knows. But the punishment for the Holy Spirit, he did not accept the Holy Spirit, is much higher than... What's the difference in the punishment? Where did you get that information from? That's not in the Bible. No way. Uh, 32 years of Christian. 32, wow, come, here, just, come, here, come here, come here, come here. Well, step in, step in. 32 years of the Christian, that's not in the Bible. So you converted to Muslim see, and being Christian? Well, of, yes. What would happen to, to a Muslim, to a Christian? To Look, Muslim, again, to again, you're, you're, Muslim, you're, you're jumping, you're, you're Matthew, jumping from all the questions. Matthew. Open, Matthew. That's my name, Matthew. 12, 1231, go ahead. Therefore, I say to you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven. forgiven men, but the blasphemy against the Spirit will not be forgiven. Where, where did that have about God? That's about men. The Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. But what about God the Father? How did you put God the Father okay. lower? Because That's they, not in the because verse. It's, because it's not forgiven for him. Why? Wait, wait, is God the Father a man? No. No, no, no. You, you didn't read the verse. Read, read the verse. I know, Russian. It doesn't I don't mention. know how it sounds in English. Oh, come on. You know English. You're speaking English to me right now fluently. I, I can't talk about yeah, no, the whole day yeah, long. Yeah, you, you listen, listen, listen. Listen. So blasphemy of the it, Holy Spirit is not forgiven. Yes. So blasphemy of the Father is forgiven, you're saying? Yes. Where is that? That's, a, that's, a that's not in the verse. The okay. Therefore, I say to you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven men. But the blasphemy against the Spirit will Let not be forgiven men. So how did you get the Father being able to okay, be blasphemed? Let, let, That's let, not there. That's not in the verse. That is not in the verse. There's a King James Version. Which Bible do you have? I have Which the, Bible do you have? have? Bible on my phone. And now, now you're going to try to blame it on the translation. It's Matthew 12, 31. So where in that verse do you see that blasphemy against the Father is forgiven? It's Let not there. Know. That's why you look confused right now.